Hello, welcome to today's video on carbohydrate backloading, which is a method, a tool that I like to implement as we get closer to the end of a cut. We currently have seven weeks left of the cut to go. And today we're gonna to go through some footage of yesterday and how I structure a day with carbohydrate backloading, starting with mill one. What one scoop. That scoop of whey protein was consumed at the HQ at about nine o'clock. I woke up at six, had about a litre of water, train came here. At about one o'clock, I then had one jacket potato and 200 grams of chicken. Quite inactive that day, so hunger levels weren't that high. I then got home at 3.30 and had half a scoop of Total War, the sugar, sugar gummy patch, sour patch. Oh, I'm really good. I trained legs rotation A, then came home and had 150 grams of mini fillets. Waited a couple of hours for L to get home, then consumed carbohydrate here. 200 grams of linguine, half a pack of jumbo king prawns, <laughs> courgette. And at that stage, I leave you with the rest of the evening. I think the fat's coming off you, my babe. We're getting there. Six weeks to go as well. No. We are currently working with 140 grams of protein, 195 carb, and only nine fats. So very low on the fats today. My go-to choice for the fats, peanut butter. In order to bump up my carb content, I'm gonna have two bagels with my peanut butter. Other fat sources that you can play around with are avocado. It's quite a popular one in the industry. I don't, I can't, I don't know what I'm eating. I don't know if I'm eating mush or food or liquid or I don't know what it is. Salmon is also good. I quite like salmon and cream cheese in a bagel to hit my fats. Fanta Fruit Twist Sierra is finally here. Granola and Greek yogurt being another favorite of mine as a little macro filler. I'm gonna have two of my bagels with peanut butter, a grenade bar, the banana armor flavor. It's meant to be for real, but you know what I mean? I'll be finishing my macros on 196 protein, 291 carb, and 47 fat. So slightly low on fat and slightly low on carb, which isn't too bad. I'm going to put it in the diary. Back to you in the studio, Tom. And as you... And as you lot know me, I like to implement backup a certain topic with some scientific evidence. So let's take a little look through the urban edgy area of Shoreditch and look at car back loading and a little bit more information. So Joe Agu has done a very good article on carbohydrate backloading. There are some limitations to the study, just take that into consideration. I'll put the link in the description box. I promise this time, I do promise. We'll look at the two main studies that have been covered. The first being a study by Keem and others compared the effects of eating 70% of the day's calories in the morning versus the evening on body mass and body composition. It was found that the ingestion of larger AM meals resulted in the greater weight loss compared with the larger PM intake. However, this extra weight loss consisted of lean body mass. Therefore, the consumption of larger PM meals resulted in greater preservation of lean body mass. There's a nice little table there for you all. And the second most recent trial done was a six month study by Sofa and others in which the authors compared the effects of carbohydrates eaten mostly at dinner versus eaten throughout the day. It was found that reductions in weight, body fat, and waist circumference were greater in the evening carb experimental condition versus the control condition. In addition, glucose control, inflammation, blood lipids, and satiety were improved to a greater degree in the evening carb group. In my opinion, and Joe shares the same, it is total macronutrient breakdown at the end of the day, which is the most important factor, so long as you're in a calorie deficit. Car back loading, intermittent fasting, front loading, side loading, any little technique or method or tool that's... Uh, I do apologise, these 
scaffold was about to get a little piece of this. The reason why I like carb backloading so much is because I like eating lots of food at one sitting. So I'm quite, you know, happy to go throughout the day with minimal food and then in the evening time, tuck in. So calories I'm working with tonight are slightly less because it's a non-training day. On non-training days I have 50 grams less carbs compared to a training one. I've got around 250 grams of carbs left, about 85 protein and 55 fat. So for dinner I'm going to be having some Spanish, Spanish chorizo, some chicken sausages in some pita with some Nando's peri peri sauce medium. The joys of dieting. I'll see you very soon.